Welcome to Porthdent Line in Wales. And right here in this sea lives something called seagrass. Now, basically, it's a wonder plant that can help to tackle climate change. Now, I'm going to meet some of the team that are here helping to protect it. Come on, let's go. Hey, Rich. What is seagrass? Seagrass is this amazing plant that lives in the sea. So think about all those, those plants that are on the hillside there. This is just another one of them, but it's adapted to live in the ocean. It grows all around the UK, so there's places such as um, Shetland where there's lots of seagrass, there's uh, seagrass in the Thames, in somewhere like South End on Sea. So why is seagrass important to tackle climate change? This amazing habitat that seagrass creates traps lots of bits of, of carbon in, in the water that gets locked into the sediments, locked away for thousands of years, and that's really important for taking the carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere and keeping it into the ocean. And this type of seagrass we've got in, in North Wales is something called Zostra. And it's, it produces loads and loads of these lovely ripe seeds. We get one of these um, shoots and we'll break it off. And what we'll do, we'll put them in our bag and uh, we'll take them back to, to the laboratory where we'll leave them to rot away for about a month to six weeks and then we'll go and plant them in the, in the ocean in, in little bags. Now we've got our seagrass, what's next? Well, we're going to go back to our shed where we've got a big tank of stinky seagrass and the seeds are going to get really hard. Oh gosh, wish me luck, but I'm doing it for the environment. Absolutely. Okay, let's go. Oh, oh. Now it's cold again. <laughs> so what we're doing here is getting the, the shoots. We chuck the shoots in here and the seeds start to harden up and then the actual plant material just rots away and creates all this stinkiness. And by about October time, we've got lovely juicy seeds ready to plant. Right, so I just pop this bag in? Yeah, put it in there and we'll take it back to the, our lab in South Wales. Yay! Rich, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to go. It's starting to smell a bit too much. This stinks! Oh, sorry. Mm. 